In this episode of Automower Answers, we're going to talk about purchasing an automower from a retailer or via the internet with professional installation included. Now, the first thing we need to explain is what is a retailer? Well, a retailer is not a dealer. Uh, Lowe's, for example, would be a retailer. They are not a dealer. They do not provide service. They do not provide parts. Um, they do not do warranty coverage, those kind of things. They simply sell you the units. That is a retailer. Now, when we say via the internet, we're going to show you a couple of websites that have automowers available from Husqvarna directly through a retailer's website and a little bit more that we'll explain about that whole scenario there with buying them off the internet. And one of the important parts that we want to cover here is the professional installation included part because there is some confusion over that and we just want to go over this and kind of make you aware of what's included, what's not included, what you got to do on your end before somebody comes out to install one of these automowers for you. So if you've been in your local Lowe's store in the past year or so, you might have noticed one of these displays here advertising an automower. And this is a 115H Husqvarna automower. This is a model that was pretty much made for this uh, program to be able to sell through these mass merchants and over the internet and things like that. It was made to hit a certain price point and this is the one that opened the door for these programs um, and all these retailers to be able to start selling these automowers. Now the way this would work is you would pull one of these little cards from up here in the corner of this display, take it to the cash register, you would pay for an automower, but you wouldn't actually get an automower right then and there. Or you would go onto the website and you would purchase your automower through the website. But again, you would not have an automower sent directly to your house straight from Husqvarna. What would happen is because this is going to have professional installation included with it, the mower that you purchased will actually be sent straight from Husqvarna to a dealer who participates in the installation program for these retailer sales of automowers. They the re or the installer, I should say, will actually contact you then and set up a time to come out, check out your property and do the installation and go over everything involved with the process with you. So let's say you didn't see this display in your local Lowe's store. You didn't realize it was there or you just hadn't been to Lowe's in a while. Maybe you just looked up Husqvarna Automowers on the Husqvarna website. Well, there you might have seen that they advertise that they have these mowers available in Lowe's. And you might have also noticed the buy now little icons on some automowers and some other pieces of equipment, meaning that you can buy them directly from Husqvarna right off of their website. Now, it would be the same process basically as if you would have bought it at Lowe's to where it would be shipped out to a dealer. They would contact you. They would come out and they would do the professional installation if it was included with your automower that you purchased. Originally, everybody knew that the 115H was going to be involved in all of these programs for basically every retailer out there that um, was participating with Husqvarna in this program. And then they added the 300 series, the 310s, the 315s, and included installation with them at a uh, predetermined price and made them available through Husqvarna's website at Lowe's. And if you were unaware of this, they also made them available at certain tractor supply stores and on tractor supplies website. Now, one of the issues that would come up when you would buy uh, an automower through Lowe's or you know off of a, a, a retailer's website would be the installer would get out there, check out your property, and find out that the model of automower you bought wasn't really going to work for what you wanted to do. It wasn't going to work for the size of your property or the complexity of your property or just something wasn't right. Now, that would be their job to explain to you, the customer who bought the automower, hey, this is why this product isn't going to work. At that point, you would say, okay, then I don't want it. Or you would have the option to upgrade to a model that would work for your yard and for the complexity of your yard and the challenges that the original model of automower you bought wouldn't be able to handle. So that was all in 2019. Now we're into 2020, and you can see here from the screenshot from the Lowe's website that the automower lineup has changed a bit at Lowe's. You can see that there is now a 400 series mower added to the list of mowers that are available through Lowe's website and Lowe's retail stores. 
This model is a 430XH. It has the capability to use two guide wires. It comes with GPS navigation. It comes with automower connect, headlights, and most of the bells and whistles that you could want on an automower available in it right out of the box. And Lowe's is not the only one with this model available. This model is available now through Amazon as well. So now you can get the 115H, the 300 series mowers, and this 430XH package with the uh, professional installation included, available from Amazon, just like you can get it through Lowe's, through the Lowe's retail stores or the Lowe's website. Now let's jump into the professional installation included part of this program. And we're going to go over some of the stuff that's included, some of the stuff that's not included, and what you need to do and what the installing dealer is going to take care of for you and things like that. The guidelines and the process are pretty similar whether you're buying the mower from Husqvarna's website, from Lowe's, from Amazon, from Tractor Supply, or some other retailer. One of the easiest ways to find information on the installation process is to go into Lowe's website, down under an auto mower, click on Guides and Documents, and in there you want to click on the Installation Guide tab. That will bring you to this automower installation checklist. This is going to go over a lot of the information you're going to need to know before the installer comes out to install your automower for you. So you can see these are pretty simple things that you're going to want to do before the installer comes out to your house. You're going to want to make sure that the mower you bought will work for the size of your lawn. Then you're going to want to find a power outlet outdoors or through a window or something where you're going to be able to plug in the power cord for your automower. You're going to want to contact 811 or have somebody come out and mark any underground power lines or fiber optic cables or um, you know sprinkler systems, things like that, so that if the installer is using an install machine, they don't end up cutting through one of these wires or cutting through a pipe somewhere or something like that. So make sure that's taken care of and marked out well. You're going to need to make sure that you've got everything cleaned out of your yard. No tree limbs or branches or debris or kids toys or dog toys or anything like that laying out there. Cut the grass down to about the height that the automower will be cutting the grass at. So that way it's good to go and you don't have a big tall lawn there and all kinds of huge clippings laying everywhere that will kill out your grass. Um, <clears throat> Make sure to fill in any holes or ruts or um, take care of any exposed tree roots and things like that that are going to be in the way of the mower. And then you can see here just some stuff you want to talk over with your um, installer as far as the installation and where the mower is going to be installed and what areas you want mowed and things like that. The part here where it says to arrange to be present during the installation, this isn't really as crucial as it sounds if you've gone over everything with the installer and you can't get the time to get off of work that day when they're going to be there to do the installation not a real big deal but you want to make sure that the installer has a way to be able to communicate with you in case anything would come up so as long as you're available to be reached by a phone call or something like that in a timely manner you should be good to go so don't sweat over that one after the installation is complete and everything is up and running and good to go the installer will have you fill out one of these certificates of completion here and they will submit this to Husqvarna saying that everything is good, you're set up, you're running, and that is when your warranty will start to take effect on your automower. Now the thing to remember is these mowers are coming with what they call a basic installation. And right here in the agreement that the installer signed with Husqvarna to be a part of this program. It says the provider will perform a basic installation in accordance with the deliverable set forth in section two below for purposes of this agreement only. A basic installation is defined as the installation of an automower charging station, boundary wire, and a guide wire where applicable on a lot that meets the size specifications of the automower purchased. If the installation is not a basic installation, providers shall negotiate with the customer for excess costs. So before we start giving opinions on what that means, let's get a little bit more clarity on this. 
And you can get that if you see one of these displays at your local Lowe's. On the side of this display, there are these brochures right here. If you take one of them, open it up, you will see in there where it talks about the installation and what's included and what's not included. So here you can see a list of things that the standard installation includes. But more importantly down here, you see what the uh, standard installation does not include. And that is moving or installing electrical outlets, property modifications, including but not limited to fences, islands, flower beds, driveways, and hardscapes, and grinding down roots or other items. So that's a pretty good list of what's not included in the standard installation. But if you notice above there, in the standard installation includes section, you will see that it says installation of guide wire and boundary wire, including around, the important word there is around, islands, fences, walls, driveways, walkways, and other obstacles. This means around those things, not through those things. This is where you will end up having to pay more if you want somebody to run a wire through your sidewalk, through your driveway, if they've got to bring out some kind of concrete saw and they have to cut a groove into your driveway or your sidewalk to run the wire through there, this is not going to be included in that basic installation and they're going to end up charging you more for that. Another important part to point out here is under standard installation includes, and you see there where it says up to 1,476 linear feet of wire, what they were saying is you're good up to the amount of wire that was sent along with the mower. So if you had the 115H and it came with the mower or the mower, the um, wire, all that stuff included in the box with the mower, that was all the more wire you would get in your basic installation. If you bought the 300 series mower and they sent an installation kit with it, that amount of wire was what you were good up to. That wasn't really uh, an issue or anything to worry about with those mowers. But now that the 430XH is in play, it's a whole different ball game when it comes to the amount of wire used in the installation. Why this is such a big deal with the 430XH is because you're probably going to be trying to do three quarters of an acre to one acre of mowing with this machine. So you could potentially end up with more islands to go around. You're going to have the two guide wires to go around. And as we know, 800 meters is what they say is your limit for a 430X. So if you've got 800 meters right there in your boundary and your islands, and they still have guide wires to run, you're going to be well over the 600 meters that they are saying is included with the installation of a 430XH auto mower. This is where the cost can go up on the installation and where you can be required to pay a little bit extra because you'll probably have to pay for the time that the installer spends to put that extra amount of wire down and they will charge you for the extra amount of wire needed to finish up the area that you wanted to mow if it is over that 600 allowed meters of wire. Another thing you may run into is the mower you purchased for your property may not be able to handle everything you want it to do. At that point, you could have the installer install it and do the areas that it is capable of doing, or you could upgrade to the mower that will actually handle everything that you need your robotic lawnmower to do. This could be going from a 115H up to a 450X, or in some cases, even going from that 115H you bought because that was the only thing you knew of at the time to the all-wheel drive 435X. Um, you know, we've seen it happen. We've heard stories about it. You know, it, it's not uncommon for somebody to buy something based on price point and think that it's going to be able to work for them. And when they have somebody come out and look at it and explain to them, hey, this is what this mower can do. This is what it can't do. This is why you're going to need to upgrade if you want it to do all these things. That's where you make the decision. Do you upgrade or do you stick with what you have and let it do what it's capable of? So what's important about this is that you don't want to tell the installer, hey, I'm not upgrading. I don't want to pay any more than this. Just install the mower in this area. And then you want to come back later on and say, well, this mower's not working. You know, they didn't install it right, blah, blah, blah. 
that's the job of the installer when they come out there to point out these issues that you will have and make sure you're aware of them. And you can always note that if you're an installer or even the, the customer, you know, it can be noted on that certificate of completion that only wanted installed in this area, um, gave advice to upgrade, customer didn't want to do it. You know, you and the installer take care of that and figure that out amongst yourselves. But for you, the consumer, it is very important that you figure this out before you go through the process of having the mower installed and finding out the installer was right and it's not working for you. Then you need to upgrade or then you have to have somebody come out, change your uh, installation around, add wire, remove wire, you know, because it's just going to end up costing you more in the end and it's going to take up more of your time and just create a bad experience that you don't really have to deal with if you just get it taken care of and resolved right away at the start. Okay, you got your automower all installed now. The installation is complete, done, everything's taken care of. Your installer is cleaning up. They're going to get ready to head out. You just signed that certificate of completion. Everything's good to go. Before that installer leaves, you should make sure to find out who you need to talk to or where you need to go for any kind of parts, warranty work, accessories, or anything to do with your automower. The reason I say that is because there are companies that are hired to do these installations only. They cannot provide any kind of warranty on the actual mower. They do not offer parts. They do not offer service or anything like that. But they should be able to direct you to your local dealer or nearest dealer to get you taken care of if something like that would arise or just to get an annual service done or any kind of software updates, things like that that might be done and get you taken care of. In most cases, you will be fortunate enough, though, to have a company who actually does warranty work, offers parts, service, and that kind of stuff for automowers be the ones that come out and do the installation for you on this mower you purchased from Lowe's, Tractor Supply, Amazon, um, or another retailer or through the internet in some way. So that was some of the basics and just some of the information that you needed to know uh, if you are looking to purchase one of these automowers from Lowe's or another type of retailer or over the internet from Husqvarna, Amazon, whoever. Um, and you're going to have professional installation included. So hope you guys all learned something here. I'm sure these programs will change and things will be added or excluded, whatever. So uh, keep checking back. We'll try to keep you up to date on all this stuff. Any questions or anything, as always, shoot us an email, drop some comments below on the video, and keep checking back as always. Thanks for watching.